Well, I would just basically can just really talk about painting. I mean, I don't, um, I, just because uh, I don't even know what to say about the films. I think whatever I do as a painter is more particular or unique as painting to me. I mean, uh, so uh, I can understand, uh, I don't know if understand is a good word, but uh, there are different elements that uh, come up that have to do with um, imagery, materials, um, time, um, how to put the paint down. Um, and all of that is something that is a painter's concern. Well, I started making plate paintings in 1978, but they're abstract paintings with some more kind of a diagrammatical kind of marks on them, more like uh, Matisse's chapel and vaunts, like they were schematic kind of drawings, seeing how much drawing should go on top of the plates, or they were just more diagrammatical. And then as I worked on them, I thought, okay, I'll try to make portraits on this kind of surface and see how that comes out. And I started doing that, I guess, a long time ago, but it's, they always seem different. Everybody looks different, and I paint them differently according to the people that stand in front of me, but they're always painted from life and in daylight. I mean, there are pictures here from different periods. I mean, the painting that's there is from 1989. It just happened to be here because we were moving some stuff around. But there's a painting in the other room, a velvet painting from 1984, next to a Chinese painting from 2002, and those goat paintings are from uh, of a few years ago when I first uh, took this Defour wallpaper, superimposed a goat on it, and then uh, put ink on the polyester and used a hose to make it bleed into the material. I didn't want the oil paint to sit on the surface. Uh, there are some other goat paintings that were made later that are in this other side of the studio, and there's gesso that's water-based so I used a hose to make it, the paint melt and then there's oil paint on them and that sits on the surface so there are different ways you find different ways of uh, putting paint down and it speaks to the material that you're working on and the image differently and so you kind of turn over every stone or I do and then exhaust some possibility and then are attracted, or I am attracted to something else. And uh, so I'm not particularly interested in just having this consistency where everything, where I just make paintings with goats on them, or just make paintings with, uh, but it seems to me that there's a way of uh, intervening or interfering with what exists, uh, that there's a gesture that occurs that, um, takes on uh, many different uh, appearances and also uh, operates as a, a, a changing um, element, but there's a kind of core um, or essential uh, way that it behaves with the other coordinates that make up the painting. The more work you look at, you start to understand, and over a period of time, I guess you start to understand my area of interest or my sensibility.